Hello, Ray Livingston from Alone Season 6. Uh, taking a little break from work just to, uh, to express my gratitude for the day. Today's video is about the gratitude and the thanks that I have for the people that allowed me to go on this adventure. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank my wife, Angie. Uh, she definitely had some uh, concerns going into it, uh, but supported me through the process and uh, allowed me to go uh, and uh, experience the adventure of a lifetime. I really appreciate her for that. Um, then my boys, you know, my eldest son, uh, I missed some pretty important stuff. Um, because of uh, the show um, and uh, I apologize for that and I thank you for understanding and um, allowing me to go uh, and do the things that I needed to do to uh, to appear on the show and, uh, and go on this journey. I mean, my little guy, uh, during the time I was gone, I missed you and uh, I know you're excited to see me on TV. Uh, and I would like to thank you for going and your mother for, uh, for uh, understanding and supporting me and knowing that uh, you know, I was going to be gone so she was going to have to have you all the time during my parenting time. I appreciate you very much Marge for, uh, for allowing me to do that. Uh, my employer, I work uh, at a body shop for big rigs, for semi-trucks. Uh, Pacific Service Center is my full-time employer. And uh, it's probably the best place anybody could work short of doing something that they love in life. Uh, it's the best situation for me short of doing the things that I love in life for, for a career. And uh, the, my employers were very, very supportive of me doing this. Uh, allowing me to take the time off, um, and, and knowing it does cause some insignificant or some significant uh, lo uh, loss of coverage. Uh, but I really appreciate the owners, Dan and Charlie, and all my coworkers, uh, uh, Lars, Bruce, Whitney, uh, Keith, and uh, all the rest of the sales and production staff and admin staff for uh, covering for me while I was gone and, uh, and uh, getting me back into things seamlessly once I got uh, back from my experience. I greatly appreciate that. Um, and all the rest of my friends and family, you know, Nicole, Apelian, Larry Roberts, Rich Pantinga, Scott Kronix, Everybody that helped me prepare, gave me pieces of information. Uh, Roy Reese, like, there's so many people that uh, that contributed not only to my preparation for the show, but for to my preparation in life to be even in a position to be considered for the show. You know, I, I'm one of, that believes that that um, the experiences that you have make you grow and a lot of those people were uh, very critical at the precise points in my life to help me grow into the person that I've become uh, and I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, Jim Calcano really introduced me to hunting back at the age of 13 with his family. Uh, there's so many people and I feel so blessed to have had all you in my life and, and I feel that you guys were a part of me. And uh, as a part of me, I took you with me on this experience. Uh, and often in the field, I would pull on that. I spoke to you guys. Whether you actually heard my words or felt my energy, I don't know. But uh, I myself transmitted it and I felt yours. And I thank you for all your love, all your support, all your positive energy, uh, and just 
all my other acquaintances, people that supported me through Facebook, uh, you know, and I picked up stuff from some wonderful companies, Columbia Sportswear, um, Five Star Gear, and True Spec, uh, Leatherman Tools, Matt Laddie who provide my knife, Brandon Brink from Standing Man Forge who forged my axe. Uh, didn't speak to anybody particularly at Amazon, but the folks that that were at Amazon, the, you know, the people at uh, at the Play It Again or not Play It Again, but um, the different sports and recreation stores that I, I looked at the source gear, uh, the people at Danner at the Danner store who helped me find a great pair of boots that were not something that they normally carry. Uh, actually had more insulation like the production staff for the show the casting people Quinn and Molly you guys are amazing uh, and some of the casting you've done the casting you did for this show and some of the other shows that you uh, you, uh, you cast for proves just how awesome you guys are you know I thank all the past participants of the show alone just by watching you guys, I became a better woodsman. Um, truly, truly, you know, whether it's from something that you did that was awesome or showing me something that I should avoid doing, everything that you did, I analyzed and looked at and, uh, and incorporated into what I was doing. The University of YouTube <laughs> was irreplaceable like I learned a lot and practiced a lot based on it you know Dave Canterbury's uh, Pathfinder school especially the uh, the, uh, the fire school was very helpful um, and Chris Morawski yeah, I mean he, he actually gave me a lot of great practical hands-on stuff and really helped me prepare and become very confident in a skill that uh, that I had never actually used before uh, Lonnie from Far North Bushcrafting, you don't know me from Adam, but I watched a ton of your videos and appreciated them and actually uh, did a number of things out in the field that I'd seen in your videos uh, for the first time. And so you've explained them enough to me and I understood the concepts enough that I was able to successfully do them for the first time in the field when I needed it. So I, I think a lot about, about your, uh, your YouTube channel and your videos, and uh, I appreciate you being out there doing what you do. Uh, and countless others, like there's too many people and, and places and, and situations to be named. But uh, I am grateful for each and every one of you. Uh, and you all contributed to this journey for me. I can't say thank you more than enough. So, thank you, everybody, and thank you, fans of the show. Because you're fans of the show, the show is on its sixth season and casting for a seventh. Without you, that never would have happened. Without your viewership, without you commenting on the show, without you continuing to watch the show and sharing the information and passing on the skills that you have learned and taught and uh, with uh, to others without that then uh, that would have been possible the show still wouldn't be here uh, and of course I'd like to thank the universe <laughs> for putting me the, on the path that I um, am and helping me develop this love for mother nature and thank you mother nature herself for for showing me what you've shown me and for keeping me safe and out of harm's way and providing with for me while I was out in the field. Uh, thank you. Thank you every tree, every ant, every squirrel, every fish, every blade of grass, every fur, four-legged furred creature, every cricket, every grasshopper, everything. Thank you everything. I appreciate everything. Well, I think separation is a myth and all those things and situations and beings and plants and everything had to be just in the spot that they were in for things to happen the way they happened and uh, so far in my life there's been ups there's been ups and downs but I've got no complaints about any of them because it put me here today and 
made me who I am. That's it. <laughs> well, that's a long, my longest video was about thanking people and I think that is appropriate. Uh, the gratitude that I feel and the energy I feel from even just making this video, but thinking about all the wonderful persons, places, and things that uh, set these events into motion for me has me feeling pretty warm and fuzzy. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, I will uh, in the mush now, but uh, the show's tomorrow. So I'm excited to see, uh, get this journey going. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.